Welcome everyone, um, I am Checkmate FGC and today I'm just going to give you guys some universe mode tips to further enhance and somewhat make this mode enjoyable as it lacks so much things as of recent patches. So the first thing I want to start off with is um, editing your shows, alright? So first thing I want to do is when it comes to your shows right like mine on display right now i like i have monday night raw tuesday night nxt and nxt level up wwe live in main event nxt uk smackdown and 205 live all right so the first thing i want to show you guys is how do you get two shows on the same day all right so this is kind of a, a hack basically so the first thing you're gonna want to do is right once you go in first you're gonna go into a show right um okay so i have set the nxt brand for a maximum of nine matches all right so at the moment we have two rivalries on the nxt side of things right so the way i did it is let's see nxt level up or oh, usually consists of three matches in real life television so i count backwards from here one two and three right so what i do is i will play the first six matches right so i'll play match one up until match six all right and let's say <coughs> let's say for instance that um i stop right there during the show i'm done with the match and you know you get the the the, the, the five star rating menu screen at the end of each match so i press exit once that match is done like if this match if i was playing this match right here play davenport versus uh raquel so whoever wins i will exit the match then it will bring me to the match card screen i will exit that screen as well then i will come to the calendar and i will go to edit and i will go to import show which is the y trigger or the triangle button depending on whether you are on um, playstation or um or xbox then what i do is i have already pre pre um prepared two shows called nxt 2.0 and NXT level up with my own custom arenas and my own custom designs and things like that. So, as I w as I explain, this is the this is the hack on how to get two shows in the in on the same day basically. So because it's purely NXT based on the one show, I I split it up in a sense of when it comes to the sixth match, right? I said the sixth match, I think. Yeah, so after the sixth match, I exit the screen and then I import the NXT level up show, right? And what will happen is from from the sixth match onwards, right? Then basically these three matches will, the, the, re the arenas will change, the you know it will give that nxt level up vibe type of thing however now some of you are concerned about these um last three matches what if they end up being rivalry matches for nxt and championship rivalries and things like that well i say to you they nope there's not there's a way around this as well um <coughs> so i'm gonna go into edit matches okay and then Just give this time to load. <coughs> All right, here we are finally. So basically, if you want to, if you don't want, you know, like I said. If you guys are concerned about the last three matches appearing now on level up, then what you can do is um, you look at matches like this one, for example, or even not not 
not Drew McIntyre, not Drew Gulak, sorry, because um, he's currently my NXT champion, so I wouldn't put him in level, in level up. However, what I would do is a match like this where it simply says one-on-one normal instead of one-on-one uh, title match or three-way contendership match, which I'll get into later. So it'll be one-on-one match, right? I would delete this match, Ember Moon and Tatum Paxley, right? I would delete this match, go in here, create the match again, since it was just a a normal match between uh, Tatum Paxley and Ember Moon. Uh, right. So then it will reflect later on the card, basically, since since there is no option for universe mode where you can just swap and alter the card man um you know so automatically so you just have to do it manually so now that match will be later on the card so technically your main event will be um will be nikita lions and tiffany stratton so after you have played this match you exit the and then you will do what i did and you just import the show you obviously have to go and create the show yourself um first before you can do this technique right so then like i said i placed this match now lower on the card and i look for another ma normal match like this so it'll be theo Hale and kaylee kaylee ray or ra formerly known as kaylee ray but at the moment she is now M alba fire um so yeah it'll be theo Hale versus kaylee ray Alba Fire, here we go. Right, and for those of you that are using my um, s my attribute sliders, um, always, always set this to slow. Doesn't matter w what. I, I highly suggest you always turn the special and finisher meter to slow because it, it's unrealistic compared to like a real life. Because the, the finisher and the special ball momentum just builds up too damn fast in this game on default. So if you are using my attribute sliders, which you can find on my YouTube channel, Checkmate FGC, um, you will always put it on slow. But nevertheless, you will, you will only you will have to put it on slow regardless, because like I said, this game is too arcadey on the base side of things. So back to what I was trying to get through, <coughs> right? So now. So now we look for another normal match per se. All right. Let's see. Um, okay. Two matches only. There, there. Okay. All right. So everything else seems actually fine. Mm. Okay. That I need to change slightly. Contendership match. Mm. Okay. Okay, that's a title match and that's a contendership match. So that should stay on the. Okay, I see what I can do here. So basically, in a situation like this, I have my custom match types set up a certain way, as you can see. So what I would do here is, since my my mid card champion um, Timothy Thatcher in this case is already in a rivalry, and my NXT Women's Champion is already in a rivalry with Tiffany Stratton, Drew Gulag is my NXT t um, champion, right? So he currently does not have a rivalry um what i'm going to do is i will place this match card in this slot so i will delete um yeah so i will delete this and just replace this with drew gulak for instance right um Sadhguru so Gulag and who was it? Carmelo Hayes. Yeah. Always put it on that. Then I will put the title on the line. 
<coughs> on NXT. Let's see if he can. Let's see if he can actually pull off a a win here for Carmelo Hayes. I should actually have put this like l in the main event, but it's fine. It's just for the sake of this video is what I'm trying to get out of the way. So I would essentially have put that there and move this match further down the card. But uh, nevertheless, obvious um, the match that I was in this slot. Um, I will now move Blair Davenport's match against um, Raquel. I think it was. I will now move that match into the lower card, right? I know it's uh, I know it's a lot of work, not a lot of work, but you you get what I'm trying to say, guys. Unfortunately, this is how this game is. So this is one of my techniques that I would use to make the game more fun and fresh and things. So it does take effort, but nevertheless, you do you do tend to I do tend to enjoy myself with this ideas and concepts and techniques that I come up with. So <coughs> so yeah. So now, as you can see, the card is basically stacked, right? And it's set. So now, you know, I'm going to move on to the match types side of things. Okay. So now, as I explained, after the sixth match, I would import a show and change the scenery, right? So I would go into calendar, edit import after the sixth match go to nxt level up and load it up as is for those of you that um, that have seen my nxt level up arena that's uploaded on to get the same to apply this concept basically so basically that is done on that side of things so once th once this match is done i'll import the level up show then from there these will be the three matches to appear on nxt level up all right now moving on to the the match types that you see here contendership match types all right um let's see <coughs> how do i achieve this so I will, what i'm about to show you is my match table all right so since this game lacks so much excitement and things like that take a co very close look at what i have here so for promo i created a match type um for called promo segments and basically i set the health bar the health bars to or the, or the health meters to low when i created this match and the stipulation is over the top rope because in normally in promo segments you will see on tv when two guys when two people are having a promo on the mic and they usually throw each other over the top rope and that's how the, the segment ends so that's kind of basically what this match is it's a one-on-one -on -one promo over the top rope hence the ottr so the chances of that happening i set on two percent and i put the limit on one um you can put it as much as you want if you want to use my idea um brawl ambush so the two percent chance of happening and a limit of one as well because it is nxt at the moment um i will set it maybe to one maybe i'll set it to two you never know so basically this is a backstage brawl match right and i always set the bars to low level so in this case a backstage brawl match will usually end in a knockout so to say like a backstage segment on tv so that's basically how i came up with this idea um don't worry about this this will only apply if you are using my sliders basically what i notice is if you're using my attribute sliders you will notice that tag team matches tend to become a bit longer so to kind of shorten the the match um kind of shorten the match length i gave the I, i've created this 2v2 tag team match with a medium health level setting while you are creating this custom match and 40 percent chances of happening throughout the show limited to two number one contendership match so basically this is just a just a basic one-on-one -on -one contendership match right that will appear um with a one percent chance which means it will not occur every single week you know what i mean so so always keep your con this contendership matches on a one percent and a limit to one obviously 
and the reason why you see continuous with match um, mid is because it's because if I if the computer generates a match card right and I see that they are using this 1v1 continuous with match then I will know which title it is for which title they are contending for which is the mid card then obviously if I if I see it's maybe a a 1v1 females match then I will obviously just assume that okay this is for the women's titles match or whatever the case because there is technically only one female title in real life for the NXT and actually for both brands all, all brands actually but um, for the men side of things the mid card right so this will this would be my mid card contendership match so in this case for this show NXT it's the North American Championship so whenever I see this appear on my screen that the computer has generated I will take it as a contendership match and then I will slot the superstar under the under the um, the mid the mid title division in the championship menu right so that will only have ha there will only be one happening of that with a 1% chance um, and the same here 2v2 contendership match um, yeah that's basically like you know those are the these are the teams that's gonna contend for the title and whatever the case or rival with the champions four way contendership match so a fatal four way match for the midcard title same applies here promo segment number two that I have here um, two percent chance of happening one limited to one so basically certain promos end in a knockout as w as similar to the brawl ambush so basically the promo segments will end in a knockout so i have a w i made the the health bars level low to l i set it to low and i gave them two or three finishes etc you know to give it that promo segment brawl effect whatever the case um other than that, your other option is you can always simulate this match when you see it appear on your screen. If you are going to use my techniques or tricks and tips and ideas, what you can do is just simulate simulate this promo segment matches and then check to see if there has been a rivalry that the AI has generated organically. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, because I personally don't like to set up rivalries um, by myself, I'd rather let the AI do it, um, especially now that I'm implementing these custom match type ideas. Um, moving on, six pack contendership championship, m uh, sorry, six pack cont uh, contendership match for the world title, right? So, in this case, the NXT world title with a 1% chance of happening, limited to one. Um, once again, guys, that uh, the chance percentages. If I keep it at one, it will not appear every single week on the show. So don't go higher than two. If I recommend not going higher than two on the chance percentage. So that's basically how I set up all the match types for contendership matches, title matches, and things like that, just to keep my universe mode interesting. All right. Um, now let's go on to the division side of things. As you will see. <coughs> I don't have anyone in my divisions for the, f the the main three cards. The yeah, for these top three co championships. Reason being is, if I decide to put um, Malachi Black, Adam Cole, you know all the well-known main eventers like Braun Stra Braun Breaker, sorry Braun Breaker as well. Put, if I slot all of these guys into these contendership slots by themselves, right? What will happen is the AI will only generate matches according to the list of contenders for this division, for this title, which I kind of think is unrealistic because if you think about it, um, Bobby Lashley, who is currently our United States champion, she, sorry, he, um, he, he is worthy of being a WWE champion so what I do is because I have the um, because I have the contendership matches like this one we one contendership matches right for the mud card in this case but obviously it's female so I, I will let it slide but yeah so contendership matches I will tend to have happen on the card right and 
based on what the AI has generated I will obviously go accordingly so let's make an example <coughs> if let's say let's see how do I let's see let's say this what let's say this is a contendership match for the women's championship on NXT right the NXT women's championship and whoever wins here so let's say for example Dakota Kai wins right then I will include her into this division like that right then I will do that the reason why Tiffany Stratton is in there is because currently she's a rivaling with um, the Keita Lions so whenever a contendership match does happen then whoever wins they will be slotted into the contendership list and then from there the AI will eventually generate matches according to the two people within contention right or what I would usually do is um, at a pay-per-view I would maybe have for example Nikita Lions against Tiffany Stratton and Dakota Kai if they are the only ones within this content within this division I would have them at the pay-per-view you know what I mean and whoever takes the pin Alright, whoever takes the pin um or if sorry, no, I'm I'm lying. So if Nikita Lions would win that triple threat match, then both of them will go into the other tab where everyone else is. And then it will kinda reset the the bracket so to say. Because if you notice most of the time you will see on TV the champions don't usually fight every single week whereas had I sit had I included all, all the contenders per division it would the, the AI would generate matches according uh, for the sorry, the AI would generate matches for the the champions almost every single week so I'm trying to give it that realistic feel. I hope I'm making sense to everyone and I hope you guys are following. I know I'm probably speaking way too fast. But I hope you understand what I'm trying to get at and how I'm trying to go about this. <coughs> so yeah, I think I've covered everything. If there are no questions or if there are any questions or comments or, say or ideas that you have in mind. Um, yeah send me s let me know on twitter um check x mate underscore fgc and yeah let's talk let me know how you guys feel about these ideas um i don't think i am missing anything once again guys if you are going to use the contendership concepts and ideas of mine make sure that the chance percentage is always on one don't ever go above two so yeah depending on how often you want it and how many matches of that specific match types you want at the moment the main event slot um and the championship slot that i think there's a slight glitch because for some reason if i were to highlight one of the this match then every single week there would be a um there would be a, uh, a main event match with this three-way contendership and notice the blue uh, the blue icon of the the one compared to the this one here this once i exit this menu screen it will it will turn it will change to one um a hundred percent on its own because it's in the main event slot so i'm trying to do trying to figure out a way how to get how to alter it and master these two slots but i'll keep you guys updated on that other than that guys that is basically how i've been doing both of these shows so the same i would apply here um if i were now on the um if i were on the wednesday tab on the calendar usually the nx sorry the wwe live shows are seven matches seven matches long so if i were now on if i were on the wwe live side of things i would i would um yeah i would play the seventh match and then i would exit the screen i would go into the calendar i would import the show and select the show main event or or wwe live with the respective arenas 
all right so basically that's how i've been doing things and operating with things <coughs> and during the weekly show the weekday shows you always want to maximize it to nine so to apply this um two shows per night or per day um idea or concept that i use so yeah other than that guys thanks so much for tuning in this has been a short stream just to give you guys some options or ideas of how you can apply these things so yeah take care guys i'm signing out god bless <laughs>